paper or plastic. At the Rayleigh's grocery store in Lincoln, the clerks will ask if you want paper or plastic, but they won't charge you for the bags. That's because in Lincoln, the city council voted two years ago to let grocers in their city decide on their own what they want to do about those single-use plastic bags. We wrote our regulations so that the businesses had the choice, and obviously with Walmart and Safeway, their larger corporate stores, and probably made a corporate decision uh, company-wide just to go ahead and, and follow the, the vote of the people. Even though Californians voted for a statewide ban, Lincoln city officials say their resolution means the bag ban doesn't apply to them. Patrons in Lincoln agree, saying they just want to get their groceries and go. I'm really not involved in all the politics of it, so it's just a matter of convenience. They make good garbage bags. I don't throw them out on the roads. I just, I just like having them. For Rayleigh's, the grocer had to adjust their policies to allow the one store to do things differently. That's what we love about being Rayleigh's in a family-owned business, is that we can be nimble and we can make decisions that are right for each of our individual stores. Californians Against Waste, which supported the plastic bag ban, questions whether the city can thwart a state law. Sometimes when the majority of voters in the state of California vote a certain way, that's the way the law goes. And uh, the city of Lincoln can try and, you know, uh, stand in the way of that. But ultimately, this is a law that the majority of consumers in California supported, um, that the legislature has supported, that the governor has supported. The environmental group, though, doesn't believe the state will step in to enforce it. And while many stores are phasing out the single-use plastic bags as a matter of consistency, the city of Lincoln remains the one place in California where you can still find those thin plastic bags and you can still keep your dime.